Hello, Whovians, it's Lopez with the new Who Review, and tonight we punch our dance card at the Mask of Mandragora. No, not Mandragora, Mandragora. Mandragora. You're putting the emphasis on the wrong syllable. The TARDIS is temporarily trapped inside the Mandragora. You got me doing it. Mandragora Helix, an intelligent, evil spiral of energy bent on total destruction. When the TARDIS escapes and lands back on Earth during Renaissance Italy, the Doctor discovers some of the Mandragora energy has hitched a ride and is loosed upon the world. Evil energy, a secret cult, and a murderous count are the guests the Doctor will encounter at the Mask of Mandragora. This opener for Season 14 was very well written by Louis Marx and originally aired from the 4th to the 25th of September of 1976. Mandragora, or Mandragora, is another name for Mandrake, a root attached to the old wives' tale involving a piercing shriek and a sudden death. <laughs> you okay? There were Shakespearean themes throughout this episode, with shades of Hamlet, i.e. the murderous uncle, and Macbeth as well, with murder as a means to attain power. I really liked all the parallels involving masks. The mask, M-A-S-Q-U-E, is a dance where masks, M-A-S-K, are worn. The Brotherhood of Demnos all wear masks, especially Hieronymus, the high priest. He wears several metaphorical masks, as does Count Frederico. The Mandragora energy also masks its true intention, promising everlasting glory, but instead, it brings oblivion. The sets were great. I loved the interior of the TARDIS and the secondary control room. Wood panels and gauges. Steampunk, before it had a name. There were some nice throwbacks as well. The second Doctor's recorder. The third Doctor's jacket. We find out the Doctor's companions, and he, can understand alien languages via the Time Lord's gift. Yes, don't forget your towel. I read. Speaking of the sets, the location was amazing. The Welsh village of Port Mirian, an Italian-style village designed by Sir Clough Williams Ellis and is still there and open for business. From the website, it looks very picturesque. Dude. I have to mention a standout from the actors, in my opinion, Tim Piggott Smith, who played Marco. <laughs> Jackass. First of all, he was really good in the role. I believed him most. Second, he took a beating, and he never ratted out Giuliano. And third, what made him tough was he had to grow up in Renaissance Italy as a ginger. I bet he had to fight every single day. Preach. Oof, man, that's starting to tangle. What's that? This? It, it's a mask. A mask of alovra. <laughs> no, not aloe vera. Alovra. Because it's alovra my face. <laughs> Did you step on another Lego? Wow, that's starting to tingle. See you in time.